Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see how we can print the inverted pyramid pattern. Okay, inverted pyramid number pattern, how we can print. Let's see in this video. For this, we need to consider three steps. Number one, identify number of rows. Number of rows you want to print. Then, number of spaces to form the pyramid pattern then print the numbers okay these three steps we need to follow if you want to print this pattern so first consider number of rows so i want to print 1 2 3 4 5 five rows i want to print initialize one variable initialize one variable with int rows equals 5 okay so five rows i want to print next what you need to observe is i need to print number of spaces after each row see if you observe here if you observe here for first row one space second row two spaces third row three space fourth row four then five spaces so each row whenever i am printing the number pattern the spaces are getting increased so we need to consider a for loop so that the spaces in each row whenever it is printing we need to increase the spaces right from 1 to 5 so for that we need to consider loop for loop that is for int i equals rows i greater than or equals to 1 i minus minus okay this loop is for printing the rows because I want to print 5 rows here 5 rows starting from i equals 5 to i greater than equals to 1 whenever it will loop from 1 to 5 because each time i minus minus each time this loop is executed i value will be decremented from 5 to 1 so until this condition becomes false that is 5 rows will get printed now inside this I want to print one more loop that is for spaces int j equals rows j greater than or equals to i j minus minus it's okay for this loop what i need to do i need to print space system dot out dot print of space i need to print space for this okay this is for spaces next step is i want to print the numbers how i can print the numbers see after see in each iteration what will happen the inner loop that is j loop will get executed and spaces will be printed first time one space will be printed then two then three then four then five okay that is how it will be printed. we will see one by one in each iteration how it will perform after this okay next how to print the numbers we need to consider one more loop int k equals one k less than equals to i k plus plus okay k lesser than equals to i k plus plus what will this loop do i need to see first i have printed the number of rows i want to print then i, I have seen spaces in each row how many spaces i have taken in j loop next i need to print the numbers right to print these numbers i need to consider one more loop that is k for int k equals 1 k lesser than equals to i k plus plus okay I need to print the value of number. How I can do that? By printing value of k. System dot out dot print of k with some space. Okay. This is how I can do that. So I have printed spaces, then I have printed numbers also accordingly. Now in each iteration, how this will get executed? We will see one by one in the first iteration. Okay, iteration one iteration 1 what will happen i will be first loop that is for int i will be i equals 5 rows rows value is 5 i equals 5 i greater than or equals to 1 yes it's true and i minus minus right so this condition is true because i equals 5 and i is greater than or equal to 1 yes the condition is true so it will go inside this loop so the inner loop for int j equals rows rows value again it is 5 
j greater than or equals to i what is the value of i now 5 right 5 then j minus minus okay this will print space see j equals 5 j greater than equal i j equals 5 and j greater than equals to i 5 5 is greater than equals to 5 so it will print one space one space will be printed in this case okay then what will happen next j minus minus so j will be decremented okay j will be decremented so it will be 4 j will be 4 4 greater than equals to 5 no the condition is false here the condition is false so the space will not be printed here it will go out of this loop it will go out of this loop then it will execute for int k equals 1 k lesser than or equals to i what is the value of i what is the value of i i value of i is 5 k plus plus okay k plus plus so k equals 1 k lesser than equals to 5 k plus plus k is lesser than equals to 5 so value of k will be printed what is the value of k value of k is 1 so 1 will be printed okay so 1 will be printed here one value will be printed next what will happen k will be incremented because k plus plus k will be incremented to 2 2 lesser than or equals to 5 yes condition is true so condition is true value of k will be printed that is 2 next value of k will become 3 3 lesser than or equals to 5 yes the condition is true and the k value will be printed that is 3 next <coughs> k value will be 4 so 4 lesser than or equals to 5 yes condition is true so 4 will be printed next k value will be 5 5 lesser than or equals to 5 yes condition is true so 5 will be printed so in the first iteration in the first iteration 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 will be printed in the first iteration right in the first iteration this 1 2 3 4 5 first iteration will print 1 2 3 4 5 in the with one space in the beginning one space followed by 1 2 3 4 5 next what will happen k will be 6 6 lesser than equals to 5 no condition is false so it will come out of the k loop once it come out of the k loop what i need to do see first line is got printed first row got printed 1 2 3 4 5 got printed we got what we want in the first line now i want to print the next line 1 2 3 4 5 to go to the next line i need to use a statement system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln i need to use this this will be executed when it will come out of this loop when k loop gets executed it will come out of here and it will print go to the next line so now it is here the cursor is here now now what will happen since this program got executed now these loops got executed successfully until the condition became false now it will come out of these inner loops and it will go to the outer loop once it is outer loop see i minus minus i minus minus means i value will be decremented by 1 so i value will be decremented by 1 means i will be equal to 4 right in the next case in the second iteration in the second iteration i value will be 4 i value will be equal to 4 now now again same way the loop will get executed so if you have understood the first iteration you can clearly know i'll just go through fast now for the second iteration since i have explained clearly in the first iteration okay so i value will be 4 4 greater than equals to 1 yes condition is true it will go inside the loop j j value will be j equals rows what is the value of rows value of rows is 5 5 greater than or equals to 4 yes the condition is true so space will be printed next j will be decremented 4 4 greater than or equals to 4 yes the condition is true so one more space will be printed so two spaces in the second row two spaces got printed next j will be decremented that is j will be 3 3 greater than or equals to 4 no the condition is false so after printing two spaces it will come out of the j loop it will go to the k loop 
now it is time to print the numbers k equals 1 k less than equals to i what is the value of i now 4 so 1 will be printed then 2 then 3 then 4 in the same way in each iteration the i value will be decremented by 1 from 5 4 3 2 1 that is how 5 4 3 2 1 so these rows will get printed accordingly for each row getting decremented that is using variable i ok this is how the logic works for inverted pyramid number pattern this is how we can print inverted number pyramid pattern now let us quickly jump to eclipse and let us execute this program and check the output ok let us quickly switch to eclipse ok so we have already created java project that is patterns inside src folder we have number patterns package inside this package let us create a class that is inverted pyramid ok let us create a class inverted pyramid with public static void main now inside this class let us initialize variable rows equals I want to print 5 rows so int rows equals 5 then for int i equals rows i greater than or equals to 1 i minus minus ok so the inner loop will be for int j equals rows j greater than or equals to i j minus minus so inside this inner loop I want to print the space system dot out dot print of how we can print the space by just giving double quote ok now I printed spaces also according to this pattern right according to this pattern I printed space now I need to print these numbers to print these numbers you need to consider one more loop that is for int k equals 1 k less than or equals to i k plus plus here I need to print the numbers how I can print the numbers by using this value of k k plus some space so I have printed space according to this pattern I have printed space I have printed numbers now I need to go to the next line to go to the next line what I need to do once we come out of this loop I need to print system dot out dot print ln which will go to the next line then again rows here the i value will be decremented so i value will become 4 this is how again one more iteration it will run so for each iteration numbers will get printed in this format 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 and finally 1 after this condition gets completely false this program will get terminated ok so let us execute this program to check the output see this is how we are getting inverted pyramid number pattern ok thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos thank you so much bye take care